From Santa Fe, New Mexico and Nashville, Tennessee to Bemidji, Minnesota, one sculptor's work can be seen across the country. For this week's In Focus, we speak to an artist in Solway who's making his personal art public. You may have seen his work around town, but you probably don't know the man behind the bronze. When I started sculpting, I didn't really have a clear idea of what I was going to sculpt, only that I really wanted to. James Paulson has been sculpting bronze works that are now displayed all over the country since February 12, 1998, a day he clearly remembers very well. I was on the phone and, and my daughter had some Play-Doh laying out. She was a tiny little thing at the time and, and uh, I started fiddling with that and just by the end of the phone call I had a small bust. It all starts in his studio in Solway where he can be found sculpting wax or clay on most days of the week. And I sculpt in wax or clay and then uh, through the lost wax casting process I turn it to bronze. The rest of the process is complex and involves casts and molds but Paulson's pieces have simple roots. I prefer natural subjects because I, I grew up in around here, you know, mostly. I moved here in 78 with my parents. Most of his sculptures are animals, and like his natural subjects, he likes to leave a natural finish. My own personal tastes lean towards trying to leave tool marks and fingerprints in, in the work to kind of show that a human has, has been here, a human touched this. Even though Paulson is inspired by nature, you can also find a lot of history in his work, and he's often inspired by ancient times. Ancient Greek and, and the, the cave paintings in southern France are particularly inspiring to me. But he's now bringing those traditional pieces to a more contemporary realm. That connection between the past and the future is, is particularly inspiring to me, and that kind of drives the, the new style of work I'm doing. And since bronze is his medium, these new works will still be around for a long time. That to me would be kind of the ultimate achievement as an artist. Unfortunately, I not going to be around to see it. <laughs> but even if he's not around to see it with his own eyes, his work, much like the works of ancient Greece, will certainly be appreciated for years to come. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.